How to attract assassin bugs. What are assassin bugs? Assassin bugs, or insects in the Rejuviidae family, are usually between 1 2 to 3 4 in, 1.3 to 1.9 cm, with a long, narrow body, and they may be brown, black, or black with red markings. These beneficial insects feed on a number of different garden pests, including aphids, beetles, caterpillars, and ants, so they can be a powerful ally if you are trying to minimize the use of chemical insecticides in your garden. If you live in an area where they are common, you can easily attract assassin bugs to your garden by creating a suitable environment and growing the right plants. Welcome to The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you how to setting up the environment and choosing the right plants. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Method 1. Setting up the environment. Number 1. Install lights near your garden. Assassin bugs are attracted to lights, as are many of their potential prey. Decorative solar-powered lights can be a great option to help draw assassin bugs to your lawn, but any lights will work. Most solar-powered garden lights are attached to a stake that you can simply push into the ground. Don't use a bug zapper for your light, or you may end up killing the assassin bugs. Number 2. Fill a pan with gravel, then add water and place it in your garden. All living creatures need water, but assassin bugs and other insects can easily drown in bowls or pools of water. Fill a shallow pan with gravel, then pour in water until you can see it at the surface of the rocks. This way, your assassin bugs will be able to drink without drowning. A cake tin is a good option for creating your drinking area. Number 3. Add a 1 to 2 in, 2.5 to 5.1 cm layer of mulch to your garden bed. By providing mulch, you'll be more likely to keep the assassin bugs that do find their way to your garden. Assassin bugs like mulch because it provides cover, allowing them sneak up on other insects. You can either make your own mulch from your garden and lawn clippings, or you can purchase it at a garden store. Number 4. Do not use chemical insecticides in your garden. The introduction of beneficial insects like the assassin bug will eventually help remove nuisances like aphids and caterpillars from your garden. However, the use of a chemical insecticide will destroy both beneficial and invasive insects alike, so you won't have a natural defense if the pests return. If an insect such as an aphid is destroying your garden, Monitor your garden carefully and spray or pluck the bugs off of the plants whenever you see them until the assassin bugs take care of the problem. Number 5. Purchase assassin bugs online if you can't find them in your area. Although assassin bugs are found on almost every continent, there may not be a strong enough presence in your area to attract them to your garden with just plants. If you are determined to have assassin bugs in your area, you can purchase them online and place them in your garden. However, these insects bite humans and prey indiscriminately on other bugs, so it may not be a good idea to introduce them into your local ecosystem. If assassin bugs aren't common where you live, try doing a search for beneficial insects that are native to your area. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Choosing the right plants. Number 1. Add small flowered plants to your garden to draw assassin bugs. Since assassin bugs have such a wide range of prey, there are a number of different plants you can add to draw them to your garden. They seem to prefer the prey that lives on small, nectar-rich flowers. Assassin bugs love queen and lace, daisies, and alfalfa. You could also try planting flowers like marigolds, dandelions, goldenrod, and tansy. Herbs like dill and fennel may also attract assassin bugs. Number 2. Plant native plants in areas where assassin bugs are common. Native plants will almost always draw local insects and their predators, so if you live in one of the areas where assassin bugs are found, 
Adding native plants will help build a healthy ecosystem where they will thrive. For example, if you live in Florida, you could plant milkweed and buckwheat. In Maryland, try planting butterfly weed and doll's daisy. If you live in Yucatan, try planting bougainvillea. Number 3. Add variety to your garden to give the assassin bugs plenty of food. Having a wide variety of plants will attract an assortment of different insects for assassin bugs to feed on. This will help keep the assassin bug population healthy even if one of your plants grows poorly during a particular season. For instance, fennel might attract the willow carrot aphid, while alfalfa might draw the alfalfa weevil. It's a good idea to plant flowers that will bloom at different times of the year, so you will have a constant food source for the insects that feed the assassin bugs. If you're trying to bring the assassin bugs to your garden to eradicate a specific insect, adding more prey might seem like the last thing you want to do. However, the variety will ensure the assassin bugs stay in your garden, helping to protect it from pests in the long term. Number 4. Create a border around the plants you want to protect. If a specific type of plant in your garden is being attacked by pests, try surrounding those plants with the ones preferred by assassin bugs, such as queen and lace. This way, the predatory bugs will form a protective barrier, attacking any pests who venture towards the more vulnerable plants. Any of the flowering plants favored by assassin bugs will work as a protective border. Try planting rows of daisies for a cheerful touch in your garden, or grow a row of dill that you can use while you're cooking. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. What do assassin bugs eat? Assassin bugs have a highly diverse invertebrate diet, feasting on everything from tiny aphids to large caterpillars and just about any bug in between. Thanks to the way they slurp up nutrients through the rostrum, they can finish off a much bigger bug with ease. Assassin bugs are such indiscriminate killers, however, that they're just as apt to go after other beneficial insects. This means the bees that pollinate and lady beetles, also known as ladybugs that feed on small destructive insects can also become prey in the garden. Are assassin bugs dangerous or poisonous? Beware the assassin bug! Beneficial as they may be for protecting your garden plants, these critters may attack and bite humans and animals, but typically only if provoked, piercing the skin with that sharp beak. Though painful and likely to cause swelling at the site, an assassin bug bite, for the most part, rarely requires medical attention. If you notice an assassin bug on your body or clothing, flick it off to remove it. Smashing it into your skin almost guarantees you'll receive a painful bite for your efforts. How do beneficial insects help the garden? 1. Natural pest control. 2. Flower and vegetable pollination. 3. Reduces need for pesticides and other chemicals. 4. Saves money, you won't have to buy pesticides. 5. Reduced resistance, many insects are demonstrating increased resistance to pesticides. The more we use them, the greater the chances of pests developing resistance. 6. Long-term solution, when you have good populations of beneficial insects, your garden will be healthy for years to come. Warning 1. Some types of assassin bugs will bite humans if they feel threatened. Their bite is painful, leaving a small red bump, and the spot may be inflamed for a few days. If you're bitten, wash the area and apply an antiseptic to the bite. 2. Assassin bugs can carry Chagas disease, a potentially deadly condition, so you should avoid being bitten if possible. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.